Today, let's talk about the power of storytelling in public speaking. Storytelling is key. Storytelling is very important. If you are able to master the art of storytelling, you can win any audience. Maybe you are an NGO leader and you want to present and pitch to donors and get grants. Maybe you have a business idea and you want people to invest in that business idea. Maybe you are selling a product or service and you want to stand in front of your customers and tell them why they should buy from you. And sometimes maybe you're a lecturer or a TV presenter or a radio presenter or maybe a church leader or an imam. The power of storytelling matters because if you are able to tell good stories, you can get quality audience to listen to you. The stories you currently tell or tell me or show, if, you, if I see the audience you are speaking to, or simply means that that is the level of your stories. So the level of your stories will attract the type of audience that you are currently getting. If you want to get high value clients to buy from you, then it simply means that you are telling high value stories. If you are telling, if you are selling products and your customers and your people, your audience are low-value customers, it simply means that your stories are not catching enough. So I want you to know that you need to learn to tell your stories. And there are two different ways that you can use to tell stories. The first is your personal stories, stories that matter to you, your experiences about life, the knowledge that you have, the talent that you have, the things that you've gone through, the challenging times and the good times about your career and your life. Those are the stories that are yours. So you can use that to tell your story. There's also another group of stories that you can tell, and that is the stories of other people, other products services that you believe that you can use to sell to other persons. For example, I can pick the story of Mark Zuckerberg and tell, talk about his story, how he started Facebook. I can talk about Elon Musk. I can talk, talk about Dan Gote. I can talk about maybe anything that matters to me. That's not my story. I can use that to inspire my audience. So learn to use stories to create opportunities. Stories are like images. And the more you tell them, the more you are able to grab your audience's attention. So the next time you go to on stage, learn to refine and craft your stories. Learn to believe in your stories and make sure that your stories, all the stories that you are going to tell, have a moral lesson or meaning to it. Don't start stories and uh, stop midway without ending the story. So you need to always conclude on all the stories that you are telling. Sometimes it even happens to me. I go on stage, I pick a story, and I don't end the story. And once I get home, I feel like, wow, I started this story. But I didn't end this because something came up. Don't do that. Make sure that any story that you pick during your presentation, you are conscious about it, and you are able to end that story and do it well. Thank you very much. I believe in you.